September 2015, I embarked on a journey with a goal of proving to myself, my family and friends that I was independent. I just finished uni, still living at home. Mum was still making my bed. It, it just wasn't a great look. In my mind, for whatever reason, I thought the best way to show how grown up I was was to move to another country and set myself up. It was one of my craziest adventures, spontaneously moving to Taiwan by myself to teach English. The same job, in the same tiny country, in the same city, at the same school. The only two teachers there, who started as acquaintances, which turned into best friends, which turned into puppy love, which turned into true love. She went to Taiwan, and there was this boy and she was like, he's cute. You, would, you and Shay would love him. And so, of course, immediately we stalk him on all of the things, Facebook, Instagram, everything. But they were just friends. Sam falling in love with the only other English teacher in his college, an American girl, was certainly going to make a great love story. And being here today and standing in front of all of you guys, you can't help but see God's hand in pairing these two together. Madeline, you so easily slotted into our family and over a series of trips, over the next year you definitely became a sister. Thank you for loving me and continuing to bring the best out of me. Tomorrow I'll make promises that I'll keep for the rest of my life and I can't wait for tomorrow to be the start of our next journey and figuring out what that looks like. I love you very much. Watching you find such a wonderful person to spend the rest of your life with and just to see the happiness radiating out of you constantly has been something that's just been really incredible and I love you so much and I'm so happy for you. He's got a cool head on his shoulders and he definitely loves you a lot. So you have picked an excellent man to be your husband forever and I wish you all the best. On behalf of Oma and Opa, and also the family in New Zealand, we want to wish you all the best and the Lord's blessing, not only on the day tomorrow, but also for the life that is ahead of you. Sam Moot, it's the honor of a lifetime to get to call you my husband. I honestly hit the jackpot with you. I thank God every day for sending you to me, or really sending us both to Taiwan to find each other. You're the most kind, loyal, loving, honorable, dream of a life partner I could have ever asked for. Full of anticipation, waiting to give my letter to Madeline. Um, super excited, super nervous. Um, but I, 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 I can't wait. I really do. I really can't wait. It's going to be so much fun today. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm, I'm looking, I just want to go to the church now. Let's just get married. Let's just go. I'm good too. Are you happy? Same. I love you too. I can't wait to see what's in store for us in the adventure of a life that we've created together. <laughs> Melinda! You... That is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I look at it? Madeline. Do you like it? I really like it. <laughs> that That's really nice. <laughs> I would hug you. I remember the day my boss in Taiwan told me that a new girl was starting next week. And as you do, of course, I asked my boss for her name so I could stalk her on Facebook. <laughs> She's from Louisiana, I saw. No, no. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I'll, I'll see you soon. You. We'll catch up. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
what a girl. What a girl. <sighs> what a treasure. <laughs> After work on Fridays, nine in the evening would walk down to the convenience store, buy some cans of beers, and sit outside and talk for hours. Everything and anything we covered. There was nothing, no judgment, no awkwardness. God has brought you here today. Madeline, officially, welcome to the family. Um, I can truly say this woman, incredible, she brings the best out of this young man. I'm very proud of you, Sam. I'm very proud of both of you. I look forward to, to be part of and to watch what the new Moot family, how that plays out. It's going to be exciting. Sam, I'd like to officially welcome you into our family. Uh, we are privileged and honored to have you. And having you in our family, I know, will make us a better family through the years uh, and over time. And we sure appreciate it. We're looking forward to the future. I am so excited to have another brother. Um, I couldn't have created a better person for Madeline and a better fit, you know, within our family. And I'm just so excited. There she is. Oh my God, look at how beautiful. That's gorgeous. <laughs> And as you walk down that aisle, that long aisle, this afternoon in the most stunning of churches, trumpet entrance and all, with your arm linked with such a proud dad, your gaze went to the man standing there at the front, the one you were about to marry, my son. I was caught up in the powerful feeling of watching my son marry this woman who have come to love in the few years I've known you. To see the joy in Sam's eyes certainly brought tears to mine. For such a very long time now, I've prayed about this day and God answered my prayer. He gave us Madeline. And to him, I am truly thankful. I, Sam, take you, Madeline, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. <laughs> I, Madeline, take you, Sam, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. <laughs> for their first dance. Somebody give it up for Sam and Madeline Moot. Together you two are so much more as a couple than you are as individuals. That's a sign of a wonderful, healthy relationship. You just make each other better. And you can really see that in the love that comes out of the two of y'all. I fell in love with her. I told her I liked her and asked what I told her I liked her and asked what she thought about us maybe being together and she replied, yeah, that could be fun. <laughs> and it has been fun, okay? <laughs> it's seven days after that I told her I loved her. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and she said she loved me too. We. It was the sweetest thing and I could definitely tell Madeline was starting to have a serious effect on you, and it was beautiful to see. I guess what it came down to at the end of the day is that you were 
your best person when you are around her. And I still see it every time I'm with both of you. It's just so good to see that you have someone that keeps you at your best. And Madeline, that is a great testament to you. So hold close all that you know to be important and true in this life. Your marriage together will certainly be so much stronger when you centre it around the one who has blessed you with it. Don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff, because, like the Beatles said, all you need is love, and you got tons of that already, and tons of it coming. You two have always been able to appreciate the little things and have never stopped making each other laugh. I wish you two the most amazing life and many, many kids. Soon. <laughs> to Madeline and Sam. No matter where we are or where we will be, whether it's New Orleans, New Zealand, Taiwan, or wherever, you're my, <laughs> you're my home, you're my heart, and you're my love and my life. And I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. So cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sam and Madeline.